What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here and today I want to show you guys some really useful tips for the new control mode in Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Now if you guys haven't played control then I highly recommend doing so because I honestly feel that control is the best new game mode since Hardpoint and maybe even Kill Confirm. So let's get into some of these tips and strategies for you to do in order to punish the other team. Now guys, control is pretty much like a mix of domination and search and destroy. You play the best of five rounds, one side is going to be attacking and the other side is going to be defending. So there are two ways for you to win control basically. One way is by capturing both sides and the other way is by killing the entire enemy team. And each team is going to have a total of 30 lives. So you really have to play your life every time you spawn. Do not treat this game like it's TDM or Kill Confirm. Just play this game um, basically for your life. Do not play strictly for kills. Now if you're on the attacking side, you should always try to prioritize the A point or whichever is closer to your spawn. A usually is going to be the closest compared to B and then once you control one point you're going to earn one extra minute of time to work with so it's best to just get that A point off the start and have more time to plan out how your team is going to capture B or how to capture the next point so definitely do prioritize the point closer to your spawn because of that short time limit. Now one of the best specialists to use for attack on control Control is definitely Seraph because of her attack deploy. If you place down attack deploy around the area where the capture zone is, then you can basically have wave after wave after wave of players coming at the other team, pushing the objective, making it very hard for them to defend that. Also try and flank around the other team, use these routes to break the other team's defense because if you go behind them and then take out one or two of their players, then that'll just completely ruin the defense, it, it'll get their attention for sure and then your team can come in, pinch those players and you can have an easy capture right there. And then I also really like using Seraph on attack because of how she can just control the spawns and possibly even turn the game into your team's favor. And also one thing to note about the spawns in control is basically there is little to no spawn flipping at all in this game mode which is pretty insane that's why so many people say control is the best mode to play for kills because you can spawn trap the other team and uh, basically just keep them pinned down into their spawns making it very annoying for them also another really good specialist to use is ajax for his shield if you play it right you could even clear out the entire control zone with his specialist weapon so ajax's shield very very good on attack now when it comes to defense, you really are going to be at a big disadvantage I feel for control. Um, mainly because you're kind of far away from the capture points for one. And two, there's just so many different options and weapons the other team can do to break down your defense. But a good specialist that does alleviate some of that pressure is a Torx razor wire because if you place a razor wire down on a doorway he pretty much locks up that entry for the other team so you could have that going on there and also what I like to do is I'll have one guy or even I'll do this I'll push out of the defense and keep pressure onto the enemy team that's traveling around the map I'll pick off some players and I'm just giving constant intel constant feedback to my team on where a flanker or a push may be going to so you really have to communicate with your team team on control which is I guess one reason why I love the game mode so much um, I do think control is gonna be in the competitive rotation for sure but then at the same time I do feel that there are some things that need to be changed about the mode such as the little to no spawn flip I think that kind of stuff is very annoying since you know spawn flips do kind of make the game fair for but for everyone not just one side for everyone it's gonna make it a lot less frustrating for a player who may have gotten three or four straight deaths off of spawn and maybe a time limit could be used to uh, give both sides a little bit more you know time to work with on attack and defense so that's what I would like to see change with the game mode but in general it's still a very very fun game mode there definitely has to be a lot of teamwork a lot of communication for you to win and uh, overall it's just a very good competitive game mode so Tell me your thoughts about this game mode down below in the comments. Do you guys like it or do you guys hate it? And also let me know if these tips helped you out in any way, shape, or form. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Till next time, I'll see you later.